Well, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, before I start today's painting, I'd just like to thank you all, all the people who've subscribed to the channel, the numbers are creeping up, and um, also all the viewers getting big views, and uh, also the comments, a lot of super comments and suggestions, which um, um, I really enjoy, and hopefully you're uh, enjoying the replies that I'm giving you, hopefully it'll help you on your uh, journey in the watercolour painting. Right, today we're going to do a session on how to paint a boat and um, that will be for your painting book and then after that I've got one on how to paint a, a small harbour scene. So the subject today is how to draw and paint a boat. And this will be another page for your painting book, and it will be MPB 7. Now, drawing and painting boats. That's um, since I started painting classes 20 years ago, this has always been one of the problems for students. I would say boats and trees are the two most difficult things that people seem to struggle with. So today I'm going to try and show you how to draw a simple boat, an exercise that I give um, to my students who join the beginners class. Once they're into it, three or four weeks, we get them to have a go at painting boats like this, small boats. And um, what we find is that a lot of these curves and angles and shapes in these boats can cause problems and um, so I'm going to show you how to draw one boat and we'll paint it in. Now there's a, a little um, exercise that I use, it's called a figure eight to draw boats. Now I'm not taking any credit for this because I didn't um, devise this and I'm going to um, show you this book so that I bought this book, oh, it must be 25 years ago. I was just looking inside to see that it's um, first published in 1980. And the gentleman in question who produced this, as you'll see, is a Peter Caldwell and I was really attracted to this um, book because of the a lot of the sketches, buildings, harbour buildings, and in particular boats. And there was one page that um, really caught my eye, and it helped me to draw boats. And it's this little bit down the bottom here, and it's called the figure eight exercise. And I'm just going to show you what that actually means. And once you start to understand this, you'll be able to um, sketch and produce boats. The suggestion was you make a long narrow figure eight. Now I'm going to draw this in quite heavy, but once you start um, doing it, you want light strokes, light uh, lines, but I'm going to do it heavy just to let you see. So what it means is an eight like that. It's a long flat eight. So you might think, well, what good does that do? Well, if you just watch, I'll show you how it can develop. So if you draw a line down there, and then you start to put a line in there, Hopefully you can start to see the shape of a boat developing. I'm going to go up to here and use this line. I'm going to put a line up there. Now, I'm going to start to put these in. In the back area, I'll do something like that. So there we go, but there you have here. So you would rub this out and rub that out. 
So there you go, that's the start of a, a bolt. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to shift this over and we'll do it on the paper and then we'll have a go at um, painting it in. Okay, so we're ready to start the sketch. Now, just before we start, you'll see that I've added two sentences on the, the sheet. Um, I suggest you do that as well. So one, the first one is use the figure eight as a guide for you to draw a boat. And the second one, the eight should be long and narrow, not a traditional eight. Okay, so you'll see in the sheet I've made a, a box so we can keep the, um, the boat in here. And I suggest you do the same. So, um, I remember I said initially, um, when I showed you the first little sketch, it's light lines we want, not heavy ones. So this might take you two or three times to get a feel for this um, nice long shallow eight. So I'll just get started and see how it turns out. So I'm going to, here. See, I'm just, I'm just sort of looking to get the the curve for the boat, and it's starting to take shape now. So I'm going to stop there. Right. So I've got a boat. This is the front. So I'm going to draw a line down here. And I'm going to go use that little end. This is going to be the side, first far side of the boat. And I'm going to use this lovely super curve here. And the boat will finish about here. And I'm just going to join that up. And then I'm going to Boats are curved right at the bottom and you'll see there's a bit that tends to come in really sharp and then I'm going to join that bit up and there we are and what I'm going to do before I go any further I'm going to rub the lines out that I don't want and there we are I'm just going to add some bits of detail. There's definitely a seat in the back. Now, these boats are really a work of art, the way they're made. These little thin planks that all come together. And they get narrower as they get round. Right, I think that will do. That's um, quite pleased with that. So I suggest we just um, stop, take a breather and make sure you're quite happy with this. Then we can have a go at um, painting it in. What I've done is, um, just to give it a bit more reality if you like, the boat um, is lying here um, in the harbour area. Now I was going to suggest that the tide is out and this is just the mucky ground area. Got a bit of a harbour wall up there and maybe some sky. So what I'm going to do first is um, I'm going to paint in a bit of the sky, maybe just a bit of the water coming in here and then we'll paint all this mucky area um, and lastly we'll paint the boat. Okay, so I'm just going to get some uh, blue, cobalt blue, not too much, just enough to suggest some sky. Leaving one or two bits for clouds. There we are. Um, I might just, as I mentioned, 
suggest that there's a bit of the waters came in here. That'll do. And now I'm just going to let that bit there dry and we fill the whole area in with this dirty mucky colour. So how do we get a colour for this? this? I'm just going to swing around. There we are. Um, I want a dirty, mucky, greeny, browny colour. So three colours I'm going to fling in. Right, start off with yellow ochre. Nice big soupy wash. And I'm going to add some burnt umber, brown. To, to darken it off a bit and then I'm going to add some blue ultramarine blue and it starts to get a dark colour of sorts I just added a little touch of my favourite the Windsor blue and it's, we've got that super greeny muddy look so I'm going to just fill all that in now and see where we go. Right, yeah, that's quite nice. Well, it doesn't look a nice colour, but it's um, nice for what it's supposed to be, a muddy bank of the tide out. So I'm just coming around here. Don't worry if you're not exactly in the lines. If you were doing this, uh, you would have tape around the edges, so you'd be okay. Right, just coming down here, get it all filled in quickly. Around the boat. Mixing in with the water. To use some of that um, colour just to fill in this um, harbour wall area. So I'm going to just add a little bit of yellow ochre to just warm it up a touch. It's better. So I just suggest there's some steps here in a harbour wall coming down to the to the water edge. You'll notice again I'm leaving some white bits out for I use them as individual stones if I wanted to add a bit of detail. Right. I'm gonna just quickly do while well, this is all drying here. I'm gonna um add some dark for rocks and that will be some brown and grey into that mix that I had I'm just using it up, I'm just going to let you see um, some brown in there, darken it up and I'm quickly going to make some big rocks Yeah, it's great how it's um, still wet this so I can use that, I'll tidy these up later, it's hard to up here, this is dry now, so um, it's a different approach I have to use, right, 
what I have to do with these ones because they're wet, I need to get some water in there and just soften off the edges. Right, that'll do. This is all dry now, so you could start to add some detail if you wanted. Right, let's strengthen that a bit. Let all these dry. While that paint in the foreground is still wet, I'm just going to um, dab some bits out on the right hand side. I want um, the light coming this way, so I just want some of these rocks to be a bit lighter. I know this is supposed to be a painting of a boat, but you're, you're getting the whole picture here. I'm just waiting on this drying. I'll see another bit that might help. In the far distance, I'm just going to use some purpley bluish colour. Cobalt blue and a bit of crimson. Just going to put some uh, hills away in the distance. Okay, so I think we're ready to have a go at the boat now. So the big, big decision for you is, what colour do you want to make it? This is something I just leave to my students, um, so they can paint it a nice bright red, or a, a yellowy colour, or black even. I'm going to go for a turquoisey blue colour. How do I get that? Well, I'm going to use um, the, this colour here. The Windsor blue, thalo blue colour, this one here. Just going to mix it up over there. You can see on its own it's a super colour. So I'm going to use that. Now that's a value of about and now I'll let you see what it turns out like. So I'm just going to start going in with these strokes. There's some of these broken edge strokes I was telling you about which are quite good. These bits here. So I've got a sort of name plate for the boat here. I'm just going to leave a bit out to give it a bit of character. Right, there we are. So that's quite nice. Now I need to paint this side in. The light's coming this way. So this will be slightly darker. So I'm going to just strengthen that colour. Just let you see this. I'm just going to strengthen it with more paint. I'm going to add a little bit of that brown colour that I had just to darken that up. And we'll see what that. Well, the paint's dry now, so I'm going to add some detail. Um, I'm going to use a rigger to put in some of the lines. Well, the bits of the actual individual wood panels on the boat. This is quite tricky this, uh, just watch how we do this. All we need is a darker colour. And just to let you see this, I'm just using that brownie colour that we had. I've added a bit of the Windsor blue to it and it gives you a a darker version of the boat colour. So, I'm going to start over here first. Just going to draw these lines in quickly. 
and I think I need a minute. Right. Now these are the tricky ones. I'm going to start off with one here. Just carefully want to go around that. And just take them down. As long as you have a curve on each one. This starts getting smaller. And that's not too bad. Just going to um, add, as I said earlier on, the shape of these bolts at the back. I'm going to put a shadow bit in there and a slightly darker. Now I know the light's coming this way but that's overhanging that, just the shape of it. So just put some of that darker greeny blue colour in and get some water, soften it off and just let it away and that'll, that'll help get the shape of that bolt when it dries. Yeah, just before I paint in the rocks, I'm um, just going to make that, fill that in roughly this name plate. That'll do. Now I'm going to um, add some detail to these rocks just at the back. The light's coming this way so they'll all be um, slightly darker I'm using that dark colour. I'm just putting it at the back and I'll show you how to soften that up in a minute just to make it look a bit more presentable. Right, so what you do is you get the brush now, plenty of water and just kind of soften it off in the front, drag it down a bit and you can see that that's starting to look like rocks now. Just get some water, soften it off and just let it dry. And you can put one or two little stones in just to suggest the beach area. And I'm just going to put a line down there and across to suggest the shape of the boat at the back. Alright, I think that's about it. We could have a, a rope coming from here, just going out the page, that would be quite nice. And what else we could do to finish this off is um, just add a bit of a shadow. So I'm mixing up a big soupy washy colour and um, there would be a shadow there. Right, that'll do. Can we get carried away here? So there you are, um, a boat. Not finished yet. Just going to strengthen this bit down here. And, uh, it's better. A little bit there. That's it. What you could do is you could paint a number in white there if you wanted to. I might do that later, but I'll leave that to you. Right, finished. The let's zoom out a bit now. Got a page for your your painting book. The MPB seven, remember, top right hand corner. How to paint a boat. So 
So hopefully you've enjoyed that and um, as I say I've got a harbour scene to paint with small boats in it so this might come in handy. Right that'll do just now, brushes down, finished. <laughs>